worth it! Buy a mark! This is an S22 Ultra screen replacement. I got the new screen here. PH000 screwdriver. You got a plastic guitar pick. A metal pry tool. And also a suction cup. And then uh, acetone isopurple mix uh, alcohol mix there. And we're going to get up to the repair here. The timer is done and we're just taking it out of the heater. So first, let's we'll start off with the back glass. You want to use your metal pry tool. I sometimes put a little acetone down um, to get it open right here at the bottom. So just tap a little acetone there. And then we'll get our metal pry tool and uh, pry underneath and just make enough room to get the plastic guitar pick in the back, uh, behind the back glass here. And then we'll do a rotation of the uh, um, guitar pick here all the way around the edges. You just want to be very careful. And the rule of thumb is if it's too hot to touch or it hurts to touch, uh, that means you're in the clear to take off the glass. If it's not too hot to touch, then um, you might end up breaking the back glass. Um, pull it off so the camera there you go just like that there perfect we got the back glass off without breaking it now just bust out that ph triple zero screwdriver and unscrew everything all of the screws are the same size so you don't have to worry about what how to organize them at all other than the screws on the charge port and um i believe that's it and the antennas don't forget to take the sim card out it's on the bottom right next to the charge port and you'll want to remove that and keep track of that do not lose it Anyways, um, also just keep unscrewing everything and then we'll get to the battery connection up here later in the video. Yeah, please, while we're watching this video here, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to make more videos here coming up. Any new phone or device, tablet, I try to get a video out on it right away. Um, and I work really hard on all this stuff and I'm happy to help. Just leave a comment below. All right, get the plastic spudger out, disconnect these two connections, holding the wireless charging pad on, and then you're gonna lift it up from the right here, pull it down, and there's that orange connection there, and you just wanna pop that off, just like that Lego connector. All right, battery's disconnected. Now we can move on to the loudspeaker down here by the charge port, pry it off from the top, just like that. And then I mainly just want to disconnect everything here. So I'm going to move these screws up. They don't need to be organized. It looks like I got some screws to keep organized. So we're just going to disconnect all the stuff here. And um, then we'll get to getting out the charge port and getting out the motherboard. All right, time to get that uh, plastic spudger and uh, pry from right here to get it. It's like a proximity sensor light camera sensor or something like that. I don't really know that much about it yet. It's such a new phone. Anyways, it covers up the ear speaker, vibrating motor, and um, the camera. And I'll show you how hard it is to take out the camera. It is very difficult to take out. But let's get out that PH000 screwdriver and just get the charge port out. I pry normally with a spudger at first and then get it lifted up a little bit. And then I will uh, pry it out gently with my fingers and uh, just try to get around in the, in the edges here right around the top and uh, here I got my fingers got it and uh, we're gonna make sure all our connections are disconnected oh I forgot a screw couldn't pry out the motherboard um, so I went back and now I uh, pry from the right side here and then like up on the top a little bit and just pry gently around the edges. I sped it up a little bit. I mean, it's a long repair. It took me about an hour. But um, there is, I got it with my fingers here. I'm going to get it out in a second here. And then whatever way gets you around the cables, I think that's just the best way I could get it out. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take out the new screen here and look over the repair, make sure what small parts I may have to move over. Um, the next thing is this thing. It looks like a ear speaker and it might have the vibrating motor inside it because I didn't see uh, a vibrating motor um, inside the phone like the other phones have a little circular vibrating motor that you have to move. Um, 
And anyways, I use some like acetone, I believe, and my metal pry tool to get it out. Um, there is uh, just trying to get it under there without hopefully hopefully not damaging anything. Uh, I was able to pry it up right there with my metal pry tool and get my hands on it, and it's stuck on some resin that's around the camera um, that we're gonna have to get out here. And it is a pain. You want to be very careful. Anyways, I'm just looking over the um, no, new frame and screen housing, making sure I'm moving everything over. I got the um, ear speaker and vibrating motor moved over. I'm just screwing it down right away so I don't have to keep track of all my screws. Let's zoom in here. This is the big part, taking out this camera. I use some uh, bended tweezers just to like work around and pick at it slowly using a lot of acetone hopefully it'll loosen it up and just slowly get around and try to get that out and um just don't try to pry too hard i, I was really worried i could uh, hurt the camera or the uh ancillary uh, rip the ribbon cable or something when you're working around this edge here and uh it's really hard but i'm just gonna keep the video going and i'll keep you updated on the next thing we do I'm gonna use a little acetone on this antenna here so I can get underneath it with there's some adhesive. I used uh, my metal pry tools to pry at it. And then there's the other one on the bottom left that you remove with screws. And I actually ran into an issue where the frame didn't have the screw holes. So, I mean, I just had to make it work. And um, what I did is I just modified the part that has like the screw bracket and you can take it apart. And then I stuck it in that hole where the antenna goes and then I use some liquid adhesive to hold it down. I move it up with my screwdriver so I'm making sure it doesn't shift while I'm like working on the phone and then uh, when I put the board down I make sure that connection goes on like first so make sure that it doesn't shift and won't connect because it's too far away or something. But I got it to work and it worked out great for me. Um, there is, I'm just putting in the charge port now I'm sorry I picked it out of up off frame. Sometimes it's just the angle you got to get at. Um, I got the PA000 screws to go in. There's just three of them. Pretty easy to uh, take care of. Put the SIM card in. Just made sure, SIM card tray. Just made sure um, it went in good and the, the uh, charge port didn't need to be screwed down again. Now I'm using acetone underneath the battery. Um, I have this plastic spudger. That's like a big green one. I didn't uh, show you at the beginning, but anyways, I pry underneath. I get the suction cup on the, onto the battery with the acetone, and I kind of just lift and pry underneath, and it's, they're really tough in there, so I was trying my best to not like break open the battery. Um, I'm pulling on the suction cup pretty hard here, and the acetone really does the trick to get the battery out. After we get the battery out here, just keep on prying at it. I'll uh, show you how to put together the rest of the phone. So we got to clean off the back of the battery, all the excess adhesive, and we want to lay the battery in. And let's put in the motherboard here real quick first before we put the battery in. And uh, just try to go underneath the connections there. I had to actually take out the front camera and it was just taking up too much space and then I put it in later and actually add liquid adhesive to it so it doesn't like move or anything if it was like dropped. And then um, just got the board in. I'm just going to connect everything here. I lift it up off my desk. It's easier to get those connections down. Anyways, uh, just a little bit of adhesive around the camera. Stick that in there. And then uh, we're going to grab some adhesive here for the battery. And I use uh, this, um, it's like two millimeter big wide pieces of adhesive that I use on the battery here. Put it down both sides and also on in the middle there a little bit. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's almost over, almost to the end. We just got to put it all back together, test it out, and then put it all the way back together after that, and um, put the back glass back down and clamp it up, and it's all good to go. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Just to 